Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1. This is Lesson 8. And we finally ma made it to uh, ways to make 10. Uh, but write your name first. Don't forget it or skip it, because you're not going to remember to come back and do it later. And here's our first one. Scroll up to it. Rex found 10 bones on his walk. He can't decide. This must be Rex. No label Rex. He can't decide which part he wants to bring to his doghouse and which part of the uh, ten bones he should bury. Help show Rex his choices by filling in the missing parts of the number bonds. So, these the picture this. 10 frame here, you don't have to draw this box, but I'm just doing it so you recognize this is a 10 frame, it's two rows of five. We've got, we're going to use this picture just to find the different ways to make 10. You can use you know, your hands, because you've got five fingers on each hand, and it's like this row is five and the bottom row is five. So we look at this number bond here, we're missing, we have to figure out what's missing. So if I count five, oh, this is going to be one of the easiest ones probably, but if I count this five, then what's going to be left? One, two, three, four, five. So that's our missing add end. That's the, the add end, right? Because the, the two parts, we call these add ends because they're numbers that you add to make the total, which the big number here is the total, is going to be the total is going to be ten for all of these. It's already written in for all of them. They're all tens. Those are totals. And these number bonds, the rest of them, these are all going to be add-ins down here. So it's a mid, it's a blank, right? It's an unknown. It's a missing add-in. You have to figure out what it is. Now I'm going to go back and clean up my picture a little bit. And you don't have to mark up your picture the same way I'm marking up mine. But this is just to show you how you can use the picture. You can cover you know, some of the bones with your hands or your fingers or something and count what's left. Or you can just kind of imagine what, how it would be. But uh, now we're looking at B. And uh, maybe you've already figured out how to do it, and you can just pause it and then skip ahead and check what your answers are. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and explain it as I go. So 6, that would be... Five and one more. So there's our six, and that means one, two, three, four is our other add in. That's our missing add in. And that's there's that one. I'm going to clean up my picture again. And now we're looking at seven for our next one for C. So seven is five, six, seven. So those are the ones that's been not, that leaves one, two, three others. That's our missing add in this three. And now for eight. If I circle eight of these bones, then our missing add in is going to be those two. That's eight and two. And then the last one, you can, probably don't even need me to do this, but you can see that if I circle nine of them, there's only going to be one left. nine and one. And so those are the different ways to make ten. There's, an, there's another one, another number bond, zero and ten. But we're going to move on to number two. He decided to bury, so we're still looking at Rex, the same dog, he decided to bury three and bring seven back home. Write all of the adding sentences that match this number bond. Now this is, I just want to take a minute to talk about this. This is part of the, you've heard about this in class, the RDW strategy we use for working on word problems. So the R is for read, and you have to do this in the order of RDW. It doesn't work if you read first 
and then write your answer and then draw the picture afterwards. Read, draw a labeled picture. And sometimes a number bond is really all you need for a labeled picture. And the last one is write. Sometimes you're going to write down a sentence for an answer, a word sentence with numbers in it. Sometimes you're going to write down a number sentence for an answer. Uh, but you, you're going to have you're going to have to write some kind of an answer down. So, and here here's what I mean by a drawing drawing a, a, a labeled picture. So we have a number bond here. But these are the labels. So it's important to keep track of what the numbers are. That's a 10, but it's 10, what is it? It's 10 bones. This is a 3, but it's 3 what? We're always counting something. And so we have to keep track of which numbers are what we're counting. Let's read. Well, I've skipped ahead, right? So let's read first. I uh, decided to bury 3 and bring 7 back home. Write all the adding sentences that match this number bond. Okay, so we have three and seven. He buried three and he brought seven home, and that's ten total bones. So we can start with three plus seven equals ten. Now we've seen this before that we can, we have the addition symbol here. And the equal sign here. So this is we can switch the order of the add ends. 7 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 7. They're both going to equal 10. And now this is the other way to write more addition sentences using the same same three numbers. Don't forget that this is the equal sign. It's really important the order that you, you can't just read it any way you want. This is something equals, so the total has to go here this time. It's kind of backwards. This is addition. It's not an equal sign. So the total, now we're going to write the total first and the add ends afterwards. So 10 equals 7 plus 3, and 10 equals 3 plus 7. So there's really four different ways that you can write addition sentences that go with those three numbers in that number bond.